Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It is time to have a little chat about my recent purchases and for me to justify why I bought them. Um, we're also going to do a haul in retrospect, look back at some things that I purchased. I think it might have been March and April of 2023. I've got those goodies down here. I think we will actually start with the haul in retrospect because I've got some it's nail stuff and I've got some other nail stuff that I purchased so let's let's get into it. Now these are all um, soft gel nail enhancements, nail tips. I picked up a few from different retailers this around this time last year. I got the Savvy Land Medium Almond from Amazon and I got the Nail Pop, uh, I don't know, Short Almonds from AliExpress and then this sort of like generic no name brand also from AliExpress but these guys were I think Short Stilettos maybe. I, I have talked about these in a video where I kind of reviewed them and let you guys know which my favorites were. And if you need a refresher or you haven't watched that video, Savvy Land was my favorite. However, the ones that I've been using the most recently and what's currently on my nails and oh the irony that my nails match the packaging. By the way, these are clear. They're not this color. Um, I don't want to spill them. Um, these are the ones I've been using recently because I want to finish them up. They don't fit my nails properly. I make it work. Everything's fine. Um, but yeah, these guys I've been using the most recently. I do love the length of them, not going to lie. But the shape of them, it's just my nails have um, a deep C curve and these aren't deep enough. That's where the problem really lies. Now, in terms of how I feel about this haul or these products, I would 100% say like the Savvy Land, I would buy these again and again and again. I want them in a short almond though. And when it comes to buying tips off AliExpress, I would 100% do it in like a heartbeat. They are very affordable when you compare them to some of the more well-known um, like name brand varieties and I wouldn't say that their quality is really any different. The The issue for me lies in the fact that I do have a deep C curve but if you don't struggle with that then like these are the way to go if you ask me because it is something that if you if you use this system or you do your nails this way on a regular basis um, you are going to go through them quite quickly and uh, it's you know well not quite quickly but you're going to go through them and it's going to be the type of thing that you repurchase and I think uh, the more affordable the better and I don't personally feel like you're getting quality loss with any of them um, I did buy the oh gosh what were they called Gel X. I bought the Gel X system and I will say, and I said this in my review video, personally I felt that the Gel X was a better fit because I have a deep C curve uh, and I would buy them again even though they are a bit more expensive. What I love about the Gel X is you can buy them individually so you can just buy the sizes that fit you. So yeah, I, I rate them all. Let's just put it that way. Fantastic purchase. Don't regret it. Will 100% buy more in the future? Probably from Gel X. Probably from Amazon. Probably from AliExpress. I really love this uh, system of like just getting my nails done quickly. I do it myself. It doesn't cost me anything other than the materials. So I'm very, very happy and I don't regret any of these purchases. Moving into things that I've purchased over the last couple of months. I feel like it's been, has it been two months since I did one of these videos? I think so. 
Uh, and I, I've purchased stuff, guys. I am back in the land of the beauty purchasing people. I was not doing it for quite some time there, or it's very sporadic, it's very under control. I started this series to make myself accountable for what I was purchasing and to make sure that I wasn't purchasing things that I didn't need and I was, you know, using what I had before I purchased more. Now, I do feel like the series has served its purpose and I am in a position now where there's a lots of areas of my stash of beauty products that is very much under control and I feel really totally fine, really good in fact, about purchasing things and I I really enjoy the process of it now. So <laughs> I bought stuff this month. I literally have stuff all over my desk. I don't even know, like, I don't, I don't even know how to start this. Um, I do actually. I want to start with nail things. Now, the nail bits that I purchased, there's a nail polish here somewhere. Okay. Oh, Lord, what did I drop? It's fine. It's fine. Crisis averted. Um, these were all from AliExpress and I actually made a Timu order one that's the first time I've done it um not really a fan of Timu I'm just gonna put it out there oh not that I'm not a fan of it I just I just think it's easier to order off AliExpress and uh Timu there's so many pop-ups and it's just it's a whole it's a lot you know let's actually start with what I purchased from Timu I picked up these these are sanding bands and these are for an e-file so a nail filing drill uh, these are like the super skinny mini ones. You can see they're teeny tiny, super skinny. Um, I've got I've got small hands, small fingers, and uh, I find that the sand, like the average size sanding bands, they're great. I love them, but also sometimes I need to get I need smaller. I need more precision. So I picked these up just to try them out. It came with like the I think it's called a mandrel, which is a bit that it like goes into the drill. I think that's correct. If you're a nail person and I say any of the wrong words, feel free to correct me. Education is great for myself and for anyone else who wants to learn. Anyway, these are lovely. I really enjoy them. They're fantastic. I would buy them again. And yes, I would buy them off Timu again, although you can get them anywhere. So, you know, um, I also picked up this and I forgot that I ordered it and when it came I was like why did I buy that uh, it's a nail polish but look at the color it's a beautiful beautiful orange color I don't know why I felt the need to buy this honestly but I did apparently um <laughs> it's just a gel like a UV gel uh soak off orange shade I there we go I bought it did I need it no I don't know why I bought it now from AliExpress, I I picked up like e-file bits. I was doing some research online because the, the bits that I have, they came with my e-file when I purchased it. And I think I also purchased like another set. I'm quite sure that I purchased them on Amazon and they were very, like they're basic. I don't think the quality is super great. Uh, they've done the job, but I'm like I was ready to expand and buy some more now first I started out by getting some bits that I really like to use for Doing like fine work and tidying up around the cuticle under the nail if I've had a little bit of like pooling of product or I put on too much or whatever um, and I bought a whole bunch that are Like I don't know if you can really see them, but they've got little like ball tips and I just got them in a variety of, um, what would you, what's the word? Grits. I, I feel like there's a better word for it, but I can't think of what it is. If you're not familiar with like e-file bits, basically they come in different grits. So you can, you know, you've got some that are very coarse and some that are more fine and everything in between. And, you know, they're good for different jobs. So I picked up a bunch of them. I got three of the ball variety in different sizes and different grits. And I also got some of these guys, which 
a more of like a pointed um, tip. Then I went ahead and bought a whole bunch of individual um, e-file bits. I bought little ones like this guy, which is for, it's a safety bit for the cuticle, I believe. Uh, I bought a whole bunch of little ones for, again, for doing like cuticle work. These are kind of similar to like these ones that I purchased. I wanted to compare the quality and how long they last. Again, I did the same with like little ball bits and I bought a couple for bulk and, you know, other larger jobs, essentially. I, I just want to play around with them. I want to, like I said, kind of learn from experience, I suppose. Uh, I did read online that AliExpress, buying bits from AliExpress is a place that a lot of people buy them from. Uh, because you can get really good quality ones. So I didn't go for the cheapest of cheap, cheap, cheap. I went for, you know, something in between. Some of these were also a little bit, you know, a little bit expensive. Uh, well, I don't know if you would like classify it as expensive. I'm sure buying them in a retail store, they'd be much more expensive. But um, I feel like I paid uh, like anywhere between three to ten dollars for some of these. Uh, so if you're a nail person, like, talk to me in the comments about it because I want to know your thoughts. Do you buy drill bits from AliExpress? Um, do you like the quality? If you do, like, tell me, tell me your tidbits. Something else that I purchased that has been, mm, it's been on my wish list for a long time. It's been on my wish list since I did my single eyeshadow series on this channel how long ago like two years ago 2022 i think i did that it's from inglot it is the freedom system single eyeshadow holder now i have where is it so in the past i stored my single eyeshadows from inglot in the larger freedom system palettes these are the 10 pan palettes and i had quite a few of them I decluttered most of my Inglot eyeshadows. I've got this one in here because I had nowhere else to put it. I also had this one in there previously. And all I wanted was one of these single um, containers for like freedom containers or freedom palettes for my Inglot eyeshadows that I use to set my eyeshadow base or my eyeshadow primer. I finally did it. I finally ordered one. I really wanted to go into store and just buy one because I didn't want to spend $10 on postage just for one item. But I like I can't find an Inglot store. I don't know if there's still one in Melbourne. Maybe there is. Uh, there's certainly not one in Perth that I could find easily. Maybe there is somewhere, but uh, like looking it up online, I couldn't find anything. So I just, I bit the bullet and I did it. I'm pretty sure the palette itself is like 10 or $12. Shipping is 10 bucks, but I also had like a, um, or they had a sale on. So shipping was more expensive than the friggin' palette. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This will last me forever. Great for travel now. Eyeshadow, safe, safe as houses in there. And uh, it's not bulky or big. It's not taking up a whole lot of space. Oh, finally, I did it. Ooh, worth it? Financially, I would question that. But with the joy that it brings me, yes. Now, some of you will know that Kat was in town recently for a work event. We also filmed some makeup breakups. And um, she, she bought me something. She bought me something. It's not a gift. We both actually decided to buy it. And she picked it up in store and then bought it to me. This is from Fresh. It is the, <laughs> here we go. This will be fun. Hesperides, Hesperides grapefruit fragrance. Uh, so Kat, this was for me a blind buy. I had never smelt it, but Kat said, you're going to love this. We both love citrus scents. Um, and she's like, I think I want to get one. And I'm like, well, get me one too. Because, you know, I'm, I'm in the market. I'm in the market for some fragrance. 
Um, it smells divine. Like she was not wrong. I'm going to go for it now. Oh, what are you doing up there? Oh, it's so good. It definitely has that beautiful grapefruit scent. Um, and it's not like a huge bottle. It's, I'm happy. It's, it's great. We're adding to the citrusy scents in my stash. I am at the point with my fragrance collection where I have enough. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm running around with one or two fragrances. I'm certainly not. But I've whittled it down over recent years to the point where everything in there sort of, it, it has its own place in my life. I, I have room to explore more. Um, I trusted Kat's opinion on this one because I know that when it comes to citrus fragrance, we like similar things. So I was very excited to have a go at that. And she, like I said, she was right. She knows her thing with citrus fragrances. I, I want to buy, um, I saw Space NK are stocking Fleur fragrances. And I was like, oh, does this mean I'm going to get to buy some Fleur? And no, they don't ship to Australia. So anyway, whatever, I'm waiting. I want to try some Fleur fragrances. Um, I bought a makeup item which, look, it's probably the least common type of product that I buy these days. I mean, do we count this as a makeup item? No, it's a tool. It's a tool. Um, I purchased the Milk Makeup Cloud Primer. Where is the name? Cloud Glow. Cloud Glow. So this is a foaming, hydrating primer. And I purchased this to do a review on it. I uh, recently published a review for the Fenty concealer and I have also got the Natasha Denona concealer that I purchased specifically because well I wanted to try them but also I want to review them and I also purchased this to review it because one I was curious I want to know is a foam primer even really a primer and can it actually be hydrating? Uh, so I purchased it to try it out. And I've been playing with it and I am going to review it. And so far, I enjoy it. But that's all you're getting out of me. And also, I've still got heaps of crap to talk about. And I feel like we're already three hours into a video. Now, I bought some candles. Um, it started with an Aldi candle. This is the Aldi Liberty Cadby's Deluxe Candle. Mandarin, Bergamot. And amber. Um, I had been seeing this at Aldi, like the Liberty um, collection at Aldi for ages. And one of the cool things about living in Perth is things don't sell out quickly. So I don't know if this was popular anywhere else, but it wasn't wildly popular here as far as I could tell because I got this quite heavily discounted. I think I got it like 50% off maybe. Um, and this one I really enjoyed the scent of. I can still smell it in there. It's so beautiful. Now, problem was, uh, I bought it and it sat on my kitchen bench for weeks. And I went to open it and I realized that it was broken. Um, I did take it back to Aldi to see if I could just get a refund because I was like, oh, this is dangerous. But it had been too long. And also I bought it on sale anyway so I was like you know what it doesn't care I'm gonna put some tape around it and burn it anyway um, I tried to do that it was a health hazard to me so I actually I just started burning it and it's been going fine it's mostly like the jar is sort of broken around the top um, and it does have some cracks in the body but even as I've been burning it it's not like overflowing or anything I'm gonna burn it I don't care I, I just don't care this will be finished soon enough anyway, but I was a little bit bummed that it was broken because the, the jar itself was quite pretty and I'd planned on using it in the bathroom for like holding stuff. Anyway, moving right along. I bought more candles. Now, I, what, I didn't, mm, okay. This was my biggest haul um, and I don't feel guilty about any of it, but I did make some mistakes. And we'll get to it. Now, I really needed lash glue. 
Uh, and I was looking for my usual one, which is the D up lash glue. I usually buy it on Amazon. The price was a bit, I was a bit like, what are you talking about Amazon? I feel like it was about 25 bucks. I'm like, I'm not paying that much. You, what are you doing Amazon? Sort your shit out. So I'm off Amazon at the moment. We're not shopping from Amazon until they get their shit together and lower their prices on everything. Uh, but I was doing a little bit of Googling and I'm trying to find the right type of lash glue for me. And I found this. This is the Duo Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive. Now, what I wanted was a lash glue that was in a tube that had a wand applicator. That was my like number one priority. I didn't want the uh, Duo Lash Glue in the tube, which you can get anywhere. It's everywhere. Like, I just, yeah, I didn't want it. Um, and I was looking to see if there was somewhere nearby where I could just pop into a shop and buy this and I couldn't find it. And I was like, all right, fine. I will order it online. So I found it on, uh, Adore Beauty. I think it might've been on sale or no, there was a sign up for sign up. Per, I don't know. Somehow I got a coupon code. Okay. That's the moral of the story. And while I was there, I was like, well, you know what? If I've got a coupon code, I'm buying something expensive that I have been needing for ages. I'm just going to do it. I bought the Lancome uh, Genifique Youth. Uh, it's like the eye serum, the light pearl eye serum. So I picked that up. I cried a little bit about my bank account, but I've got to admit that my under eyes is one of those areas where I feel like it's showing my age the most these days. So I wanted to invest in my skin future. And this is an absolute favorite product of mine. Now, when I added this to my cart, I realized that, oh, excuse me. I realized I was getting a gift with purchase, a Lancome gift with purchase. I was actually getting two. Um, it's all in here. There's just like, it's a whole gorgeous bag, by the way. Not that I need it, but... You know, it's it's free. Um, skincare samples, some makeup samples, all that jazz. I'm not going to go through them. It's not. I didn't buy these. They come for free. <laughs> so I was really happy with that. It felt like a good deal. I got a discount on this. I feel like I got, I don't know if it was 10 or 20% off. I think it might have been 20. Anyway, I was, I was happy. I got this discounted and a little bag of goodies. Now, there was something else that, like, I could technically have purchased these from elsewhere um, and probably still got them on sale, but there was actually a reason why I was looking at Adore Beauty, and that's because I wanted this. <laughs> it's from Circa Home, or Circa, I think they're called now. It's a white tea and wild mint candle. Now, uh, when Kat was here, we were perusing the shops. We didn't buy anything either. So, you know, we were being really good. And we were sniffing the candles. And uh, Kat grabbed this one. She's like, oh, smell it. It's so good. And I remembered this was way before I moved uh, to Perth. Kat and I had been out smelling candles. And we had actually found this. And it smells like... Bo Peep lollies. Do you know? Do you know? If you know, you know. Oh my god. This is just so, so good. Anyway, I had to have it. And because I had a coupon code, I was like, I'm buying it. I, I'm getting this thing. Now, there was something else that I noticed when I added that to my cart. Because I added it and I was like, you know, going to check out and stuff. And, um... Because I had seen that this had been added to my cart as a freebie, I was like, oh, yes, okay. Um, I went and checked the other gift with purchase dealios, and I realized there was one for Circa. And this is where I kind of was a bit like, I'm just going to buy it because I can. I picked up the Blood Orange Candle because it's a long time fave of mine. I've had quite a few of these in the past. I have given them as gifts because they are just divine. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, go and 
get yourself one of these and a Bo Peep candle. It's not called Bo Peep. It was white tea and wild mint. Just go and treat yourself because you deserve it. Um, but adding those to my cart actually got me this. Mm -hmm. This I don't need. Just going to put it out there. It is a blood orange hand lotion from Circa. If this had been any other scent, I don't, I can't remember if I was allowed to choose my scent or not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This, mm, I love the blood orange. Okay. I love the scent. It's amazing. If I could have got this in the hand cream, like the hand cream in the white tea and mint, I probably would have. But this is also just as good. Um, so the hand cream was free the candles i didn't pay full price for them so i feel particularly happy with uh my purchases there now i did make a mistake i really did when you are in the adore beauty checkout thingy and you have gift with purchases they pop up at the top and you you click to add them to your cart. At least that's what I was doing on my laptop. And I accidentally clicked something that was not a free gift with purchase. I thought it was, it was not. And I purchased it and I did not need it. Okay, and I'm, uh, I'm not gonna send it back because what I accidentally purchased is a very useful group of products. It's this, um, it's an SPF bag. Now, what you get in there is this was $30 and it, I think it was, I think the reason why it was sort of added to my cart as something that I could add is because if you spent a certain amount of money at Adore Beauty, you could then purchase this for $30. Now, I think that's a really good deal. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. I haven't looked at the prices of um, these products individually. Uh, I don't care that much. I just don't necessarily feel like I needed SPF now, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, two full-size products. You get the Alpha H Daily Essential Moisturizer SPF 50 and the Barely There Facial Sun Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E SPF 50 from is it Ab Lab or AB Lab? Don't know. Both fine products for me. Okay, especially like this one with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. I mean, probably couldn't have worked out any better for me. But along with those, you also get a selection of SPF minis. Um, you get one from Skin Institute. This is uh, face the day SPF 50 they're all SPF 50 so we won't say that 50 times over uh, beauty filter feather light you get the ultraviolet preen screen which is the spray on one uh, you get the Aven sunscreen emulsion for the face and you get the La Roche-Posay and Thelios XL so um, that was a it was a boo-boo I would not have purchased it if I was paying better attention to what I was doing, but I was watching a show and talking to Chris at the same time, so I really fucked that right up. Um, I didn't need sunscreen. However, I would say that $30 for all of that, can I really complain? And you're supposed to wear sunscreen every day, so... Look, maybe it's a sign from the universe. Wear more sunscreen, Haley. So that's my haul. Um, it is a significant haul, uh, but it is, you know, over the space of two months. And to be honest, I probably won't buy anything again for another two or three months. Um, maybe I'll pick up some moisturizers at end of financial year sales if I feel like I can get a good deal. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I will be waiting for sales. And I think that's kind of, that's my jam these days. I just love a good deal. I do love a gift with purchase. I'm not going to lie. Shopping for beauty products these days feels so much more exciting for me. I think because I don't have a lot of backups and when I buy something, it's something that I want to use 
straight away like I'm ready to crack it open like that feels good to me and that's where I would like to keep it I definitely wouldn't say that you know everything that I had in this haul uh, fits perfectly into that category SPF and I mean hand cream I didn't buy it it was free um, and of course the candles I'm not gonna burn you know three different candles at once but um, it's the kind of thing where I I will be using it very soon or I'm starting to use it immediately and that feels so good because I haven't been that sort of shopper for a lot of years so with saying that I am going to keep doing these videos but I'm going to change things up a little bit I'm going to do them collectively so when I feel like I have a whole bunch of things where you and I can sit down for 20 or 30 minutes you guys can grab a drink and a snack and we can talk about some goodies that I've purchased recently we're going to go ahead and do it that way rather than just one or two things here or there and checking in every month even though I haven't been doing that for a long time and we will continue to do haul in retrospect videos because I think that's where I like I get my sort of dose of reality or wake up call shall we say um, when I have purchased something and I've either not finished it or I haven't touched it or you know that's where you can see if something has gone wrong with the purchases so we're absolutely going to keep doing those um this video is long enough feel free to leave your comments down below what is your favorite candle at the moment have you tried the blood orange or the white tea and wild mint what's your favorite spf what's your favorite citrus fragrance what's your bloody favorite eye cream <laughs> tell me everything um i'm gonna go i want to say a massive thank you to my channel members and i will catch you guys in the next one bye